Hi, it's Professor Ryan from Knights Around a Table. What is an engine builder? Today on... Board Games 101! So engine building games, I think I can demonstrate the concept pretty simply. I've got a fake game here that is about cards. Now an engine builder is a game that has components to it, so they can be cards, or they can be tiles or tokens, it really doesn't matter, maybe even dice. But the idea is that each little component has a piece of functionality. So in our fake game, the rule is you get to play one card and activate one card on your turn. These are not necessarily the cards I'll get in this order, but check this out. I'm going to play the first card and it says score one point. So I played a card, now I'm going to activate a card, boom, I get a point. Okay, fine, not that exciting. But check this out, on the next turn, I'm going to play this other card, which lets me score two points. Now I get to activate a card, so between the two of them, I'm obviously going to choose the two point card over the one point card. Boom, I activate it, and I get my two points. Now it's a little bit of a shame that this one point card sort of went to waste. However, later on, I'm going to play a card on my turn that says, score one point and activate another card. Oh, that's cool, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting better and better, so I'm going to activate this and get my one point, and then I get to activate another card, so I'm going to go for the two point card. So great, so now I went from one point in a turn to getting two points in a turn, now I'm getting three points in a turn. Then of course, on a later turn, I'm going to play a card that looks like this, score one point and activate two other cards. Now check out this daisy chain combo reaction. So I'm going to activate that and I get one point and that lets me activate two other cards. So the two other cards are going to be this one, score one point and activate another card, which lets me activate this one and this one still has one left over. So boom, I'm going to activate that one and I'm going to get, what is it, one, two, three, four, five points on a turn. So I've just demonstrated sort of how an engine builder works. You get little pieces and you use those pieces to build a machine that hopefully generates points for you as the game goes on and more and more points so you're building a better and better contraption or machine or whatever the theme happens to be in the game pretty neat now it's a pretty broad generalization of a mechanic it's a little bit hard to pin down but there are tons of different games that you can try that are in that engine builder umbrella one of the favorites of the channel is called race for the galaxy but i don't highly recommend it to people who are brand new to board games. It gets a little bit hairy and a little bit difficult to suss out what all the different icons mean. If you want more of a gentle introduction to this sort of concept, you could try out something like Splendor or the marginally better, in my opinion, Century Spice Road. There are two versions of that. There's one with boring graphics and there's ones with cool giant golems on it. Perhaps interestingly, the very first one that I think I ever tried and again, it's debatable whether it's going to be called an engine builder or not, was called This Game is Bonkers, which was an old roll and move game from the 70s where the idea was to lay down tiles that changed the board that made you go back two spaces, go forward X number of spaces, collect this many points. And the whole idea was you were trying to rig the board and get your pawn trapped in this endless loop of generating points. So I would call that an engine builder. I think it fits. Now, I think one of the key parameters or key design choices a designer makes when they build an engine building game is to end the game while people are still having fun, if that makes sense. So a lot of these games, you get your whole machine up and running, your whole engine's going and it's ready to generate points for you, and that's the last round and it's over. But like my friend Doc says, you know, people complain about that sometimes, but it's really no fun if the game lets you run your engine for a few turns, because what's the point of that? The point of it was building. I mean, anybody can just, you know, crank out points after points after points. The, the challenge is just getting there in just enough time to maybe squeeze some points out of it and, and get your fun out of it, and then the game ends. But if you're just round after round, you know, printing money or whatever it is the entire time, it's not going to be quite as enjoyable. But that's a taste thing. So for those of you who are TAs and are auditing my course or helping out, what do you think? What is your favorite engine building game? There's so many to choose from, but I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know. If you'd like to discuss this with me in person, my office hours are always on the Discord channel. So just follow that link and you can jump in and we can chat about it. And in the meantime, for those of you suggesting I am not a real professor, I don't know what you're talking about. I have a beard, I have a corduroy jacket, and look, I'm even wearing glasses. So. Basically, what else do you need? Thanks for watching. Class dismissed. Board Games 101! Knights Around a Table is the only place where you can earn your PHB in board games. Knights Around a Table is not an accredited educational institution. Uh, to see a full course syllabus, visit knightsaroundatable.com.
To fund an endowment, visit me at my Patreon page. And as usual, click the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications when new course materials are available. What did I get my undergraduate degree in? Hey, we're out of time.